There's something to be said for cooking local. You're not only supporting nearby farms, you're also getting fresher, more flavor, flavorful ingredients. And here with some ideas on how you can incorporate some seasonal summer finds into your dishes is Chef Crystal Yay. Baldwin, who's manning the torch this morning. <laughs> Having fun. Fire in the morning is great. This is awesome. <laughs> you pre-prepared one of the dishes we're yeah. going to make. And what, which one is this? So this is the corn creme brulee. So oh, folks nice. know like a corn souffle or corn pone, things like that. But I wanted to do something different. So... I'm going to talk about local. Um, so all the local vegetables are coming in. Everybody's hitting up their farmers' markets. Right. You know, they're coming in, looking at the stores, and looking for something fresh and great. There's so much more. In fact, the guys have been teasing me because I go, "But wait, there's more." But you wait, know? there's more. <laughs> it's not just vegetables. <laughs> like an you know? right? Exactly. <laughs> it's not just milk. It's not just eggs. You know, but there's so much in the store that you can get. But we're going to focus on you know the vegetables because. People are kind of doing the same thing over and over right now. It's well, like corn on the cob. Right. Yeah. So we're going to do And it you a got some peaches with you, too. I do. Chambersburg great. peaches are in mm. season. They're in. They're great. So I had to stop my son from trying to eat them last night. <laughs> Please wait. Just let me get <laughs> on the show first. <laughs> so um, we're going to do the corn, you know, okay, let's do that first. That's going to be fun. So what I have over here is eight eggs, eight egg yolks. Eight egg yolks. Okay. okay. Sugar and some white pepper. So we're just gonna mix that up and we're not gonna go crazy. We don't want this in, you know, pell ribbons or anything because you don't want a lot of air whenever you do a creme brulee, okay. okay? So once I do that, I have corn. So I took corn off of the uh, cob and I took half of my corn and I pureed it, okay? Just oh, in the blender. The, okay. mm -hmm. And then strain and that? And then I strained it and put some heavy cream in there. Great. Okay? So, because so creme brulee, it's got to be rich, right? It has to be, yeah. So we're going to take and add in. I would expect nothing else. <laughs> some corn in there, okay? So you want some texture as well, okay? So I'm going to add in the corn. And then into my eggs, I'm going to go ahead and add that corn puree, okay? Cream mixture, yeah. Mm -hmm. And the cream. And this is really simple. So I don't want anybody to think, oh, you know, I can't do this because it really is. And even if you... I strained out my puree, but you don't have to do that. Right, you're eating okay? the corn anyways exactly. in full form, so it doesn't really so. matter. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit of salt in there. Yum. And I know this is hard. I'm going to take and pour this right over it, okay? Looks great. So I have a couple of um, tips with this, because this is going to go into a water bath. And so one thing I notice with people in a water bath is they take and they pour this all the way up to the top. And then they've got the water bath and it's sloshing around in there and you're trying to get it to the... It gets messy. You know, yeah. Right, right, right. Don't do that. Put your um, pan in the oven and you could do one of two things. You could put the water in already. I generally don't do that because um, sometimes my hands slip when I go to put something in and I don't want it to splash. Because so then I put, it's hot water. Exactly. Right. So I put the pan in. I take the bowl like this, not filled up to the top, and put it in the pan, which is in the oven. Okay, then I go ahead and put the rest of the mixture, mixture in. in, and then I take and pour my boiling water into the pan. Oh, so it makes idea. it a lot more simpler, it's safer, and I don't want anybody to get burned, but it's really easy to do. That okay? sounds great. Yeah, I mean, so, it's, it sounds much easier. I, when you say water better. bath, I'm thinking, oh gosh, oh, I'm never going to be able seen, to do this. I've seen my guys in the kitchen do some really, you know, crazy things. So, you know, it's a good way to do it. So you go ahead and you cook it. It's going to take about 45 minutes to an hour to cook. And what you just want to, 325. 325, okay. And you just want to make sure that it's not wet all the way through. It's kind of going to do the jello jiggle. That's what you want. Okay, you want that's a jiggle. what you want. A okay. jiggle, okay? And then you said I can I can play with the you torch. You're going to play with the torch. So the only thing we're going to do, we're going to take the safety off. <laughs> okay? I refrigerate this, okay, after for at least four it. hours after I cook it, okay? Then I put some um, raw sugar on it, okay? It's called Demera sh uh, sugar, raw sugar. Even if you have plain sugar, use it. You can go ahead and you're going to go back and forth. So torches you can find everywhere. A lot of times people get them as a gift and then they don't use them but it's easy and you're gonna make this nice crust to it. If you don't have a torch, you don't wanna get one, take and broiler. put your broiler on, top shelf, high heat, make sure it's Ooh. really hot first and then do it. But then you have that great dish, okay? Oh, looks good. So, now I have um, a salad. So, I have a peach and bacon salad. So I took and cooked peaches off, um, grilled them, and I have onions that I grilled off, okay? Mm -hmm. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to throw a couple more peaches on there because they're nice and grilled. Okay. 
okay? And then I'm going to take and add some of my bacon, okay? It's sticky, it's gooey, it's yummy. Oh, is this like a caramelized bacon? It is. It's got brown oh, sugar on it, and it's mm. got some um, um, Cajun seasoning, the Market Ooh. District Cajun seasoning on it. Okay, so you throw that on there, right? Mm -hmm. And then you make a little bit of a dressing. So you've got some sour cream, buttermilk, and some mayonnaise in here. And then I just take and throw some herbs, whatever herbs you get at the farmer's market. Can I try this? Oh, you can try that most definitely. I have to, I have to dig into this. And then I'm just going to mix that up. Oh, that's nice and easy. Well, you want it mm. to be easy. You don't want to have to do a lot of work during the summer. It's hot. You right. know, you want it to be this simple but really good. So, so good. you go ahead and put that on. Mm -hmm. Last thing I did was zucchini and green tomatoes. So people saute those, but I took some crushed red pepper, fennel, cumin, put it in the oven. You could put it on the grill, um, roast it till it's nice and, and browned, then put a little lemon zest, a little bit of lemon juice, olive oil, and a little bit of burrata cheese. Ooh, right so, on top. Right on top. You can break it right in there. Nice and vegetarian that makes a nice, dinner. Yeah, dish, exactly. Oh. I know what I'm having for dinner tonight. Uh. Thank you, Chef Crystal. <laughs> and for our copy of today's recipes, you can visit kdka.com slash PTL. We'll have them posted for you there. We also want to thank Giant Eagle for Market District for sponsoring our Cooking Corner segment.